Welcome back to year two of Rollercoaster Tycoon. We are in Trinity Islands. We have got ourselves uh, a decent start. Got a bit of a big loan which we need to sort of get rid of. Uh, we've got a bit of a plan for this year. We're going to add, I believe, a uh, log flume we said. We've got a log flume here and I think there's a roller coaster that we wanted to add. Yes, yeah, so we wanted to add a mine train roller coaster. So, let's get started with this second year. Uh, having a look at what we've quickly got. Hopefully you've just seen the previous video. So, uh, we've got a bit of a food area at the end of the park. Uh, I call it the end of the park because I've stopped the path continuing because I didn't want people getting stuck in these areas. And really it's preserved a, a biggish area for me to build things later on in the second and hopefully in the third year. Um, I've moved down quite a lot of the land and bulldoze quite a, quite a few of the trees because they wear in the way and I figured that figured that it'd probably be best to actually just get rid of it so I can have more space because there wasn't that much space before. As you can see from the path, which is really keeping to the, the the direction of the land, it's basically the same sort of level as what the land was. So you can see that it, it was going up and down and it was just terrible. And I, I was talking about adding a bit of a beach area, or more of a beach area, which would be quite fun. Uh, most of our rides seem quite cheap couple of pounds each. Uh, we're making about a pound profit on all of our, our food which well I'd say is pretty standard actually. Um, and I think it's 15 pounds to enter the park. Yeah 15 pounds to enter the park. We've got 491 guests. Hopefully that can rise. 490 or it's gone down. Anyway um, we have to get 750 guests at the end of year three. Here we go it's gone back up. Uh, at the end of year 3, we have 750 guests. So, as long as it's increasing, it's fine. And looking at this graph, it looks like it will be increasing enough. Uh, if we get another 400 by the end of this year, then we'll be doing great, we'll be on track. We have to have at least 600 park rating, so... Oh, that's dipped a little bit recently, so we should probably look into... Look into getting a, a much better park rating. I wonder why that's dipping, I'm not too sure. Perhaps it's something to do with money. Anyway, let's start off with a lovely, oh, I say lovely, hopefully lovely, uh, log flume. Now we said we we're going to do this log flume in this area with this smaller island. We've got a big island over here, and this is the slightly smaller one. So, we need to get rid of some of these trees. Hopefully we won't go run into uh, run into any sort of money troubles with this. Uh, should be fine. Get rid of some of these trees. Probably about half of these trees. The ones that are closest to us here. Let's get rid of these. Don't want them. And we can probably change the path actually. Don't want the uh, the guests just walking around in circles. Okay. So um. Where's a good place to put this? Put the start of this log flume. Let's put it here. You can probably get something similar to the way that Diamond Heights has its log flume, which was, um, if I can remember correctly, something where it sort of goes down straight away, goes in the through the ground, which is quite an interesting idea. So when we're making this, or probably after we finish making this, uh, we can look into adding a swinging ship, because we've just unlocked that. It's a good start to the year, that is. Okay, so... Spring up. Oh, is that right? I uh, can't build this. Why can't we build this? Ah. There we go. We can build that. There. Um, let's make that rise up a little bit. I want to give it a slightly different look. That looks 
cooler. Would metal metallic look better? Actually, it does. It's quite cool. Right. Okay. So um, we're going down into the ground. How far have we got to go down? We're at six foot. So we've really got to just go down. Yeah, there we go. I thought I thought the path was going to be in the way for a second there, but that seems fine. And in fact, we might as well just make that whole thing uh, up. A little bunker there. Uh, and then if there is an issue, we can just... Uh, no, not quite. Let's bring it down. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> that's... that's uh, not exactly what we wanted, but sure, that 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 will do. That will do for now. Okay, so uh, we're going to splash down again, which is hopefully we can now just. Well, people like I don't know if people like the sort of long winding parts of log flumes, but log flumes always have them. Um, I'm not entirely sure which long winding bit I should do. Uh, I suppose I can can move a lot of the land and stuff around oh, with balloon. Um, I can't pop them in this one. Uh, <laughs> that that I can move some of the land around. Could work. Uh, we're gonna have to change some of the land. Go. Yeah, that. I I'm not I'm not too confident with that. So I hope. Oh. I hope that that will work. Oh, that's as far as we can go anyway. Um, I basically want to go down to about ten feet. But the thing is, because we're coming out from there, and the, the way this, the amount of space we've got, it's a bit harder to do that. Perhaps what we can do is we sort of reverse engineer a little bit here, um, to come out from say there. That's where it's going to come out of. Let's give it that nice look. Which I don't know why I've Never really played around with uh, the different types of land you can have in Relic Society. Anyway, hopefully we can have our underground view on, and we can arrange for is that working? Can't really tell where we are. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, there we go. We can go up here, and now I don't think I even need this. Uh, this bit. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. We might need something like it. Unfortunately, the land is quite high up. Um, I would quite like a long drop down, but I don't think that's happening right now. Yeah, yeah, it's. Oops. Uh. In fact, we could probably make that uh, fall down into the station. So, whether or not it's it's going to work exactly like that is different matter entirely. Bring that up. There we go. Almost there. So close. There we go. 
Okay. That's slightly better than um than I thought I thought that was gonna be a bit of a disaster there. But <laughs> it's not hooray, we've got part we've not gone under budget. It's really good. We're gonna test that. Unfortunately, because it does go underground, it will be very hard to see. Uh, let's just put our underground view on again. That's the map. Underground view. Alright, so we start off with a big to medium drop. We go da uh, round. We have another another drop. Then we go round. And then we go up. It's a little hard to see here. But we do go up. Yes, uh, where's the best place to see that? The path wasn't in the way, can we can we hide the path? Uh, no we can't, apparently not. Um, yeah, we go up, then round, have a small drop, go round, and we go, it's probably best if I have the boat being monitored, so I just need to check that price. Right, actually I'm going to charge £3, it's, maybe I'll try £3.50, see what happens, try and get as much money as possible really. Alright, then we go up, really quite high, um, just going up. Takes a while to get up, really. Quite. Mock Flume seems to be quite slow rides, but th they are very popular, so sometimes it can be a pain to test them and see what's happening, but it's good in the, in, in the end. Uh, there we go. I thought I wasn't recording my sound there for a second. Got a bit confused. Anyway, um, yeah, so we, we come out of underground, uh, going up still. Come up, and then when we're at the top, we should take a nice turning. Fortunately, they're so slow when they're going up. I, I'm pretty sure that Rodegus Tycoon 2 introduced a speed feature for, for going up lifts. That is one of the one of the worst things that you can have is just waiting to go. Anyway, so it comes up to the top, it goes round, it goes straight a little bit, then round again. Then it finishes off with a big, big well, not huge, it's about the same as the first splash. Might be slightly smaller. But it does finish off with a splash. Which is really good, and I quite like it. I'm hoping that we're going to get some good results. Medium excitement rating, so it's not too bad. Uh, a low intensity rating, so that means, you know, people might think it's a bit low intensity, but it's, it should be fine. Better than, better than some of the other rides we've got. And a low nausea rating, so that should be quite good. So we'll turn off our underground views and underwater view, um, and we just, I think what we can do is, really we can just get rid of all the path on this land from here. Yeah, that'll, that will work. There we go. And then, just delete that bit there. If we can just zoom out a little bit. And we can decide where we're going to connect to our world. I didn't expect to move the camera there. Um, so, we'll just come out here. To... Uh, well, if we press the button, um, we'll go down here. Not all the way down. It's good. That's a good start. Letting people onto this island. I'll, I'm tempted to just make a huge queue, and it probably will be quite large for saying that the ride is. Uh, Two minutes and forty-two seconds. So well over two and a half minutes. Probably nearing the sort of depending on your point of view, sort of nearing the three minute mark. So yeah, that's quite interesting. Um I'm gonna open up the ride and hopefully people will start going on it. Although why didn't he go on it? What's he thinking? Oh he doesn't think anything. So it's open, people are going to it, which is really good news. That's three pound fifty each. Come on, I mean that's that's good money. Um, and hope it's a bit slow, so it's not going to be churning out the money, but it will. 
be giving us a nice amount of profit and a good, good park value. We just need to uh, make sure that we can start paying our... I, I guess we can probably start paying our loans back halfway through this year. Maybe sometime next episode or the at the end of this year. Definitely in the final year I'd like to do it. Because I hate just having like no money. I like having a lot of money and if I do need a loan then it's easy to get another loan. But that's only if you paid it back. So that's a good start for our log flume one. Let's have a look at what was happening whilst we were actually doing it. So I pointed out the swinging ship, we can add one of those later. That would be a nice sort of small ride that we can just pop in. Some of the guests were complaining that the amount of litter in the park was too bad. So we need to check our handyman and see what's happening. And I did see the handyman in the queue and he's probably walked away somewhere now. It's probably time that we we do set out our handyman or at least give him an area, get another handyman to have an area and once that's done we will Yep, there we go. So we'll give this handyman that area. We'll get another handyman and he can sort of have this area I suppose this sort of islandy bit with these rides and it's kind of hard to see where I'm putting them lack of screen space there but at least you can see what's happening in the grand scheme of things a lot of benches are getting wrecked which is a bit of a which is a shame really I think I should be investing in some more security if they if security actually do things um, that's probably a good place for that handyman we'll get a third handyman we can put him in this sort of starting off area and it's a shame to see that a lot of our benches are wrecked really Okay, so, um, got a couple of handymen. They should hopefully be in their areas. Not sure about this first handyman. Make sure he's in his area. This handyman. Okay, they're all in their areas, which is really good. Uh, oh wait, we do need another one for the, uh, the last area. Um, not gonna mow the grass. Okay, that's good. Um, maybe we should probably do this for our other other staff. I have noticed a lot of the, the benches and stuff have been broken, and I would really like to fix that because the vandalism is terrible. And what you'd assume, at least, that the uh, security stop vandalism. Although I'm not too sure if that is actually the case. So we'll start adding some more mechanics. Hopefully, we can. Make sure that the rides that we want get fixed quickly. Pretty good there. Get another mechanic. Our first mechanic in. And for the boat ride area, we'll pop him in for the uh, car hire. Give him the. Yeah, we'll give him the roller coaster, and then we'll also have to give him our haunted house, which, there we go, and I should have that area. Have another mechanic, all the way over here, just for the log flume. Uh, we'll probably uh, add some more rides around there, make it a bit more fun for him. That's good. We can, I suppose, more security. And another thing, people are probably less likely to vandalize if there there is more entertainment. So we'll add some more entertainers. I'm not going to give these security guards uh, certain areas at the moment. Hopefully that won't have to happen because it can be a pain to 
keep adding loads of security guards, so we have quite a few elephants there. But yeah, it, it will be a pain to keep adding loads of security, so for for the purpose of of hopefully it will work if we just add more security, then I think that's fine. If we look here, it says approximate cost for the steel roller coaster is 3,350, we got 2950 so it's a little bit hard, hard to do and uh, for the inverted steel roller coaster or the inverted roller coaster that's going to 4 4100 upwards <laughs>